It is Spotlight Sunday, and today I'm talking to Rachel Kastner. She's a creative producer, an actress, and a documentarian. Her feature documentary, The Barn, premiered in 2019 and tells the story of her grandpa Carl, who's a Holocaust survivor. Yom HaShoah, Holocaust Remembrance Day, is this week, so I wanted to talk to Rachel to hear more about her film and the importance of preserving memories of the Holocaust. Rachel, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for inviting me. I'm so happy. Tell me a little bit about your film. It's called The Barn. Um, I was working on it for four years before it premiered last year. And in the film, I take my grandfather, Carl, back to Poland to reunite with the Christian woman who saved him during the Holocaust and to go on a hunt for the barn under which he hid for two years to escape the Nazis. Can you tell me what it was like to go with your grandfather back to a place that probably triggered some really dark memories for him? It was a really hard thing to ask, to ask him to come back to go to Poland. He swore that he would never go back. He only agreed to going after I begged him to come for the sake of making the film and preserving the memory. Three of my grandparents are Holocaust survivors, all with their individual stories of escaping um, from the Nazis. And growing up, I kind of took it for granted um, the miracles that led them to their survival. And also the fact that they were Holocaust survivors. I thought everybody's grandparents were Holocaust survivors. As my grandparents started getting older, I began realizing how important it was that I preserve the memory, that I sit down with them and I listen to them and I record it. I always wanted to be a filmmaker and I didn't realize that the stories were already, already in front of me. Can you tell me about the emotional impact going to Poland with your grandfather had on you? Seeing how he looked at people differently on the street, it was it was really impactful and it made me, it made me think twice about how, how intense his experience had been and how we really, and as much as I want to understand it, I never, I never will fully understand what he's been through. Tell me about the moment when Carl and Paulina saw each other for the first time. We opened the door and her smile lit up the whole room and she was tiny, really, really small. And my grandfather was much larger and they just embraced and immediately his Polish came back and they were speaking as if they known each other their whole lives, even though they hadn't seen each other in decades. She had never met anyone who she had saved. And so she felt like she was my grandmother. I want to end by just asking you to leave a message to other people who had the privilege of having access to their grandparents who hold a history chest of stories. Why is it so important to gather their knowledge and their experiences. As a filmmaker, I've always loved stories. I've always wanted to share stories. So many of us are at home. So many of us have cell phones and cameras and smartphones and all of that. Call your grandparents, call your neighbors, call people who have stories to tell, write them down, be inspired by them. You have no idea what they're gonna tell you, where it can go and share it, share the stories because if we don't do it, nobody will. And they, they will, like the truth is, is that the stories will die with the people if we don't write them down. I think it is incredible that you're using your talent of storytelling to document these moments in history that are so transformative. Thank you for your work. And until next time, I'm Emma Barnett, and this is Next Gen News.